Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting right in front of my shoujo manga collection because today I'm going to be reorganizing my entire manga collection. So it's going to be quite a long video. I'm literally going to just take apart my full collection uh, with a few exceptions. Um, the Uramichi area is staying where it is, Sailor Moon is staying where it is, um, Madoka Magica and the other smaller Evangelion manga, those are staying where they are. Everything else I'm going to take apart and just organize in stacks over here and then from there I'm just gonna put them in their designated area. So yeah, finally got the manga that I was waiting on. So everything that I purchased in December that finally arrived finally arrived so yeah and um, I'm also going to be doing some dusting so I got my Swiffer duster here uh, I'm gonna be dusting off all the figures as well and I'm gonna take you along for the long journey so I'm gonna start by going to my room and getting all the manga that I have in my room and bringing it over here the way I'm planning to organize my manga collection is by grouping things. Like I mentioned in the Q&A video, I like to keep the BL with the BL, GL with the GL, Shonen with the Shonen. So it just makes it easier for me to, um, even if I don't have the books that I want to read in my TBR cart, I can just go to that designated area. If I see something that piques my interest, I can just grab from the shelf and read them. So yes. Uh, I have a lot. I have a lot. The fact that this isn't even my whole manga collection, like I still haven't taken any of these down, still haven't uh, run through all of this, this is still in its spot. So yeah, I have a lot of work to do gonna have to like scoot over somewhere in the middle and just start <laughs> start dividing things into groups so what I think I'm gonna do especially now that I have uh, Japanese French and Spanish manga is separate that from the English manga and just kind of still group things together but also group them by language Another thing that I'm thinking of especially since I have I mean all of these stacks are just Maki and Joji, so just one mangaka. Um, I might actually move her to this area. I, I don't know, I'm gonna experiment. I also have a lot of BL and GL that could be moved to this area. This is all shonen. This ginormous stack, all of this is just, well, this and that. Um, just smut, Jose smut. Uh, so it's growing quite a bit. <laughs> Jose manga. Uh, some of them have smut as well. Not all of them. She Hayafuru doesn't. Um, we got Kodansha, Sweat and Soap, Wotakoi, uh, more stuff over here, Shoujo, like I said, Maki. So my first area that I have grouped together is the Shonen romances and then one Seinen romance, which is my dress up darling. I think I'm gonna just group these, <laughs> these manga together. So still not my favorite setup, but it kind of works. So we got the shonen romances up there. We got some seinen and shonen here and more shonen here. I was thinking of putting the Jujutsu Kaisen here, but uh, there's 14 volumes and they sadly don't fit. The GL was pretty easy to separate just because I don't have that much of it compared to other groups. So we have all these seven C's GL here. Some this, uh, Yen Press, and then over here we have some Kodansha GL, and then some larger <laughs> Seven Seas GL for some reason. I don't know why they do this, but I'm thinking I might put the GL in either this bookcase or that one. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna have to like play around with it. 
So I managed to organize all my GL. So we have the taller GL up here and then the shorter ones over here. As manga risers for this area, I use some of uh, Steph's manga risers. She's selling them on Etsy, but this is like a <laughs> first draft before she started selling. So yeah, so it actually worked out um, because the Seven Seas manga is so much shorter. So we got Seven Seas in the back. We got Viz and uh, Tokyo Pop in the front. And like I mentioned, the taller GL up here. All right, so we have BL here. I managed to fit everything into this bookcase. I'm still not 100% happy with the way this is laid out, but it, it works. So we got the taller BL here, and then we have um, Sublime as well as some um, Seven Seas up here, and then the Spanish BL. And then down here we have Tokyo Pop as well as, what publisher is this? This is One, uh, one Piece Books. So yeah, they're about the same height. These guys are the same height. And then we have the taller ones and then some not so tall ones, but still taller than the rest. Now I have to tackle the biggest pile, which is uh, the Jose pile. So you guys know I have a lot of shoujo, which I haven't even taken down. Uh, the second biggest category is the Jose manga, with the exception of Sweat and Soap, because I know it is a seinen, but it's the same size as the other Jose titles by by Kodansha, like Something's Wrong With Us and What the Koi, so I just grouped them together. I don't have enough seinen to do a separate category, so yes! Um, <laughs> yeah, I have a lot. Um, thankfully, I think I'm gonna keep all the Japanese smut um, in just one section and then everything else will be separated so let me see what I can come up with so we got all the Jose manga right here that's more mature so the Jose smut uh, the spicy stuff <laughs> so we got some love cover right here some TL clear we got some Dolce comics Eternity comics, um, b-boy comics, so yeah, I'm just gonna group them by publisher. Um, good thing a lot of these are the same height as well, and I'm gonna move them over to my bedroom. I've moved the Jose manga <laughs> over to my bedroom, so we have the spice shelf, which still has a gap that I'm trying to figure out what I can put there. I think I'm still gonna display the Kodansha manga here just because of their height and other shorter Jose manga down here. And in case you wanted to know what I use for risers, I have priority mail boxes here, and then I have Q-Posket boxes that are just, you know, just there. <laughs> so I am going to start putting the the taller Kodansha up first, uh, the Wotakoi, the sweat and soap, something's wrong with us. And yes, I do have a lot of Watakoi. I have some volumes in Japanese. I have the comic anthology. I have the guidebook. I have a light novel. Uh, so yeah, that's all Watakoi. Let's put up the sweat and soap now that it's complete. This is so hard to do with one hand, by the way, but we got sweat and soap. And uh, in case you're wondering whether I'm going to get the box set, uh, most likely, yes. Is it necessary? Absolutely not. Oh my god, I hate this so much. What the koi hates me? It hates me. Look at this. <laughs> I'm so stressed. <laughs> Damn you, Hirotaka. It's okay, I love you. But uh, I gotta I gotta pick these up. Being a manga collector, yeah, it's not easy, okay? It's not easy stuff. <laughs> Finally they stayed in their spot, so Taller Kodansha! This is also tall. I need to figure out what I'm gonna put there and also put my display up for 
the sweat and soap in Japanese. While I try to figure out what I can put here and here, I'm gonna start putting all the Viz Shoujo Beat Jose titles down here, as well as anything else that's on the shorter side, like these ones from Seven Seas. So this is what we're working with. We got the spice. I mean, I still have room to expand if I wanted to. So we're displaying Kiritani, why not? He deserves to be displayed. And then we have um, my homeboy, the warden, right here as well. We got Kodansha stuff over here, taller um, manga, some more Jose, Shihaya Furu. We got Hanu Switch in Japanese and also in French. Um, down here, like I said, I have the Shoujo B titles that are Jose, um, some Japanese some French stuff, um, and then some shorter English titles right here. I think this is better. And obviously I still have room to expand, which is good, but I utilized all three shelves, so that makes me happy. Now I need to move stuff back here. Um, I might have a Maki and Joji problem. All of this is her work in English, Japanese, and French. Yeah, I do love her though, I really do. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, you know, I'm a little shocked by how much I own from her. And this is not even all of it. There's still several one-shots I do not own. So we got Maki and Joji in English with the beautiful Dr. Tendo here. And then over here we have Maki and Joji in French and Japanese since they're the same size. I have some of her newer work up here as well as, it's kind of alphabetical, not really, but Agent of My Heart, we got Dear Brother, her newest series right here, look at that. And uh, then Private Prince Yoru Cafe in the back and some of her one shots as well. I also do have a clamp problem. This is not even all of it because Card Captor is over in my Shoujo collection. And I'm expecting a few more volumes of Subasa in the mail. So I'm only going to be missing four of them till I have like the full collection, which is very exciting. So we have the Jujutsu Kaisen. I raised the manga up a little bit. Actually worked out really well because I was able to fit the Yuji Tadori and the Nobara figures that I got over over the holidays. Well actually before the holidays in November at Comic Con. Down here we have Clamp. Once I get the rest of Subasa, I'll just put them here and move these down below. We have Chobits, the one I love, and Wish down here. And then this is completely empty. I need to figure out what I'm going to put down here. So I reorganized the Neon Genesis Evangelion section. So we got the Asuka figures, Misato, Rei, and Mari over here. Uh, yeah, they're by themselves, but it's mostly Asuka and Misato. Like I mentioned, I wasn't going to move these around, nor this part of the collection. So these stay here. So now I need to reorganize the TBR cart as well as uh, this, the shoujo manga. So at least this is kind of grouped together. So all I have to do is just shift things around, make a alphabetical order, and then um, yeah, add these guys in there.
And here are my results. So after a few hours, I ended up with this. Here we have the shonen and some of the seinen manga that I own. Here we have my GL manga collection with room to grow, which is great. I'm looking forward to some of the GL releases this year. So yeah, I'm going to have room to display them. Here I have some of my illustration books and art books. I need to come up with a better way to display them. They're just an awkward... Um, awkward size. Then we have my BL manga collection with a lot of sublime. I do like their titles quite a bit. And then we have some Tokyo Pop as well as I Hear the Sunspot. Again, room to grow my BL collection, which is great. Then I did reorganize my TBR card. So uh, in the month of February, I'm going to be prioritizing Requiem of the Rose King, Case Study of Anitas, some French manga. And then here on the second shelf, I have some of the manga that I need to give to my friends Colleen and stuff. And also manga that I'm thinking I might sell. I'm still not sure. So it's just sitting there. Then we have my shoujo manga, which you guys know that I absolutely love. This is my favorite area of like my collection. I just adore it and obviously like we have figures we have um little trinkets here and there the diy kiminito loke merch i have the diy kasehaya right there uh, it's so cute i love it and then my snow white with the red hair manga as well all the shoujo is organized alphabetically so i just have every language that i own um I have some obviously a lot of english manga uh some french manga some spanish and then some japanese volumes as well so i just organized them all alphabetically i feel like that makes the most sense to me in this in this section of my collection so yeah uh, for some reason, I noticed that the Twinkle Star volumes, they're so much taller than everything else, which is, it's making things a little difficult to organize. So here we have my Evangelion manga, my Madoka Magica manga, Jujutsu Kaisen, and then the Maki and Joji, as well as the Clamp collection. Since I filmed this video, the Clamp collection has grown. I found some really good, um, some really good sales in the Tsubasa area, as well as some other a lesser known clamp title so yeah lucked out then we have my uramichi onisan manga which volume 3 is coming out in february sailor moon evangelion then we have my spicy manga with plenty of room to grow i notice a lot of the spines are very pink for some reason so yeah it's looking very girly up in here then we have my sweat and soap watakoi kodansha favorites area um, with some other Josie titles like Hanu Switch as well as Shihaya Furu. I'm still contemplating on collecting that series, but it's very long. <laughs> not gonna lie then we have some other Jose titles here do plan on filming a manga collection video so be on the lookout for that it's the day after I did all the manga reorganizing Ew, it could be done better but with the setup that I have I think I did the best I could so yeah I'm happy everything's organized now I still have room to expand which is good for me I guess <laughs> room for more 2022 releases so yes to that and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions in the comments let me know if you've done anything like this before i'm probably gonna do another reshuffling once i get the manga ricers from steph she's making me custom ones for my shoujo manga shelf i will be linking to steph's etsy shop if you're interested in custom manga ricers she also does sell pre-made manga ricers for the ikea billy shelf if you're looking for that so yeah i will link it down below in the information box she also does like i said custom risers so if you have different bookshelves like i do uh she can hook you up with that so all the information will be listed in the information box below all my social media handles will be down below in the information box as well so you can follow me on tiktok instagram twitter all of that i do plan to do a manga collection video very soon so be on the lookout for that and that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys very soon in my next one Bye!